Uh, have you received the draft of the conditions yes. from Dave and Lori yes. in the final? And then I saw there was some, there was like a back and forth a little bit between, uh, as far as um, uh, you know, said that there were some conditions that I think needed to be updated from the chair at the time. Yeah, there was a back and forth as we understand it between David, uh, Lori, and JP. JP. Okay. That we received. Okay, so you received after that. You received the uh, yeah, so we don't force the conflicts, is it? Yeah. Okay. That, that just wasn't printed out for us. So, what's that? Yeah. Yeah. Do you know, is there a way to print anything? Uh, real quick. Yeah, what do you need? Um, we need the uh, conditions that David Lawyer and Lawyer have drafted up. Um, oh. I'm not sure where I would access those. Email? I got mine in email. You did? Yeah. Um, in my attention email, I don't have It was forwarded from um, David Bauer. Yeah, and I'll go double check real quick, but it's... Uh, well, let's look into, we're going to review the January 22nd minutes and uh, look on there.
So we've just only started reviewing the minutes from last year. We'll have minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. Thank you very much for transcribing those. Yeah. Yes. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Any copies? Yes. Do you want copies of the minutes? Are there any changes or anything that anybody would like to make to the minutes? All those in favor for accepting minutes as they read? <clears throat> so, uh, Mr. Lurie, um, I guess well, the first thing on the agenda is actually the site plan review for Stephen Richard for Four Miller Avenue. Um, the note here says that the plan will be approved by CEO. Um, who is here to represent? Yes, sir. I'm Steve. Steve, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Um, <coughs> so why is this in front of us? It's not conforming? I believe that is true. Um, Jesse, this is in front of us because it is a site plan review only, yep. because it's out of. Uh, uh, Shoreland zone. Shoreland zone, okay. 
Is that the Randall Park? West Park. West Park. Park. Just because it's still on the bottom? Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to table this and we can set up a workshop to discuss and go through this plan thoroughly, but we really can't do anything until the butters have been officially notified in the way. So, um, it's my understanding that that was being done by the town. Is, is that not correct? Uh, normally, yes, the town would do that. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure why, but it has not been done at this point. Um, when this was... I presented the room page to David Bauer in person. He, he explained to me he's no longer the code enforcement officer, which I knew, but he was the clerk and could take it. So I wrote him a check and uh, for deposit, and um, I've got a receipt for that. And, um, he, he had asked me for one piece of paper, which I emailed to him, which is um, a, a plot of the pre-existing or the current conditions and where it sits, and I got that over to him. I also brought 10 copies of that. Yeah, it, it just seems to me like we've wasted your time that there was a, a better protocol when you came in and somebody said, well, you need to have this document. 
Well, if we sort of, I agree, but we're sort of in a transition, and this is like, let's move her. Apologize for that. But we don't do what we, my, my issue is that we don't have anybody in the townhouse where a neighbor or a, a, a landowner comes in and requests something. We, the town planning board doesn't have a member here. Yeah. Now, the, now, the CEO, he would be the one to be able to tell you if he was present the day you came in. I, and you weren't you weren't here, so we need to have some kind of a better protocol. I have, I actually have that if you need it. Um, I have his signature, David's signature, and the date. David is okay, but what we're saying is we need actually written something from your abutters. Right. Yeah, you need to get a notification. An attempt to go. Yeah, because over the last few years, I know that David is not the CEO anymore, but when. In the past, when we um, gone for for um, our permits and so forth, we at David has asked for our list of the addresses and everything, which we always gave it to him, and then he always took care of sending the letters out and telling us, you know, when we would we put on the agenda and that we, you know. That so it seems. So it seems to me like the protocol would be that David has to contact the CEO anytime no, somebody. It's, it's not on the CEO to send out the letters. It's on the planning yeah. board to send out the letters. Yes. Well, now then, Dave, Dave, we don't have a person here in the. Now you board. do. So there's been a yes. transition period. So now we have a secretary for the planning board that handles this stuff. Yes. So, so it, it was lost in translation. Um, Jesse, our apologies. Can you clarify yeah, for everybody yeah, right. what that's going to be? I'm, I'm I'm sure. We just got a brand new secretary in the last 30 days. And um, so it's our secretary here? I, yes. The same I've amount of time as David? I have explained to her what needs to be done to uh, so that we can have a meeting next time. And I really do apologize. <coughs> so, Nate, hey, you were suggesting we have a workshop? So, so that, yeah, I mean, that way we're not waiting a whole other month. Right. right. In order to right. look through the plan and, yeah. and workshop through it. Yeah, because we... By, if there's, by the time there's our next meeting. So we'll uh, expedite you of what's going on. This, this, can, can I ask what that means? No. Yeah, well, I know what it means, but specifically, you know, is if we have there... a workshop, basically, we can discuss. It's a public, it's still a public hearing. It's just not an official like planning board meeting. Meaning, a vote cannot take place, but we can still go through the ordinance. We can discuss. Public will be here, um, so it's a public. Well, public meeting. can be here. Yeah. The only the only thing is um, we need to make sure that there right. are basically we need one. We need to set up the date now. Yeah. And two, then it needs to be posted. Because it has to be advertised properly so that the public can sure. see where and can make out. You know, I think we'd like to leave with some expectations so that there's not any misunderstanding yeah. next time we meet. Absolutely. If that's possible. So, what's the timeline of doing this? So, it have to be after next Wednesday. Because it has to be on a right. shopper's so, guide, right? So, it would be in the. Right. So, 27th. We'll, we'll actually be handling the um, the notifications specifically. Lindsay. Lindsay. Right over there. Hi, Lindsay. She is Hi. our new secretary. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> you sure? Do, yeah. do, um, do you work out of the office here? Is that... Um, uh, well, I recently just started. Sure. So I'm kind of getting my feet wet. But, okay. yeah, I would be uh, mostly working out of this office. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So is it two postings? There was two postings for a, work, for a workshop? Yeah, you haven't done a workshop for a while. Uh, isn't it posted um, every week anyway? Isn't that in there? The, the workshop would fall on, I thought we preempted. So like oh, we yeah, that's right. All we have to okay. do. Um, I'm not so sure about that. In the newspaper, it's still says uh, first Tuesday workshop. Mm -hmm. So two week mm -hmm. first Tuesday of March. I don't even think I'm not even sure what the post I would make sure that it got on the town website. I know that 
the selectmen don't post workshops. They don't even take minutes. I, um, I, I understand that the butters need to be notified, um, and that's uh, part of the process. Is there a way um, that we can be heard tonight initially? And um, I don't think so because uh, the butters have the right to hear everything. Everything. Said. That's okay. the only reason. Okay. I understand. Yes. I'm need to have his hand up. Yeah. down. <coughs> Can't they be heard for completeness? <coughs> and then the letters get notified? That's how most of the video. That's not the way it's supposed to be. Well, I know, but that's essentially how it's been handled all the way up until now. If I could just <laughs> interject, thanks, thanks for saying that. <coughs> and our, our frustration is, is, is we've been trying to do this for five years. And we've We've been getting resistance across the hall. So we brought in the professionals. We've done everything to the code. And, and I know you're in transition, so we're, we don't have to excuse this. We're just a little frustrated. As my wife had mentioned, we, we try to do this when uh, she's been there for 50 years. I was lucky enough to marry her. To, move into the family and we've been married for a long time but anyway we tried to do this <clears throat> uh, when her parents were alive <clears throat> and we just kept getting resistance and resistance and unfortunately they passed away two years ago so now we're back to the drawing board trying to make this happen uh, and, and we, we understand and I understand the frustration yeah and I know you're in transition because everybody's brand new because we don't recognize anybody so but I do remember, you know, you guys came to us originally, and at the time we weren't able to do anything because the shoreline had the ordinance hadn't been updated yet. Right. Right. So now, now it has recently, you know, I think the last two years. Sure. Um, so, so unfortunately, since that year, uh, you know, a lot's been going on. Sure. I don't know what else to say at this point except right. for let's set up a date uh, right now, get a workshop going. Uh, that gives us all the time. On our own as well. Can I just say, I, I guess I'm still a little concerned because I know that um, Steve was told that we, that we made the deadline by that, by him turning in all the papers, and he was told that all the papers were complete, that, and that was in enough time for everybody to be notified. So, um, but meanwhile, I guess that didn't happen because of the transition or, or what it, why it didn't happen. I don't, I don't know. Um, but does this mean now because it, now this isn't going to be able to be talked about until the next meeting, which is March, then, um, and then I'm sure you'll have to do a sidewalk. So then you'll be waiting for a sidewalk and then waiting. So it could be what, April, May? I mean. We, we can't do sidewalks while there's snow on the ground anyway, so it would have to wait until there's no snow. Uh, Are you serious? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Our ordinance. That's our part ordinance. of the ordinance. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, we cannot so do that. But could, could I just speak for a minute? Uh, let me just clarify to you, because you mentioned resistance. I don't think you can find resistance from this board other than that you conform with the ordinance. I had a chance to look at your packet very briefly. It looks like this gentleman has dotted all his I's, crossed all his T's, and is very familiar <coughs> with the ordinance. and. Sure. provisions thereof. So, you know, assuming that that's, our, our purpose is to make it be in compliance and go as smoothly as possible for you. Okay. Thank you. So I'm just trying to reassure you we can't speed it up any way more than what Nate is suggesting. Sure. So if, what? if we if we have our road plowed to get into our camp, you still can't. So, in other words, on the, the ground, you can't, uh, it says you can't do any sidewalks without with snow on the ground. Yes, these guys are in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> it's in our ordinance. So, we're probably looking at the earliest, probably late March, early April, maybe the snow will be done. But that, again, that does it. That doesn't we can do the hearing and get everything through. That doesn't mean we can't get a workshop done. Does the, can't take does, a look at the. Does, by looking at what you have in front of you, does the plan need a sidewalk? By ordinance, I mean, do we have everything there? Do you, do you still have to do a sidewalk? It's per the plan for discretion until we're able to really dive into that. I can't say one way or the other. Discretion. So, 
So uh, you're setting up a date? Yep. Tuesday and in the month is that what you're yep. yeah that's our the, that's the date that is um that in time? our town paper that we have a workshop is on the first okay March 5th? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Seven. Uh, um, just March 5th. March 5th at 7 p.m. We'll, we'll, we'll take any date as the earliest date. We'll be responsible for getting all those letters out to your about it, right? You should also contact David anytime somebody comes in. Any developer that will probably mm -hmm. he has to let you know in case you can get letters out. Yeah. For next Tuesday? Yeah, so normally I would have to be sent out after. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, so the, yeah, so we need to get an ad in for next week's shopper's guide. Stating that March 5th there will be a workshop for everybody. That's seven. That's seven. Right here. Yeah. It's all also best none of us are going to be here on the first Tuesday. This is the first I don't mean to this is the first land that we've done since the regs came in in September. So workshop is a good idea. I you know, I apologize for getting with any of you guys I know it's the transition, but it's just we missed so many things that's happened over, over the course of these last four years that I really feel that I feel that this was kind of not on your end, but I feel that this was kind of stuck under intentionally. Know what I mean? And I don't mean to talk about David. Talking about David. David, too. Well, thanks for listening. Thank you. We'll see you on my back. Thank you. Oh, sorry.
can work things out with the developer, uh, and then it may be appropriate to do a denial, a final uh, approval. But right now, the issue is, uh, is the claim board comfortable enough with the concept that's before them, before it, I should say, uh, to move forward, have the developer move forward and file a final plan. And what conditions you definitely want to have see in that plan is to put the developer basically on notice of plain board concerns. Uh, I drafted something here which is uh, a little bit unusual in that I heard an undercurrent, a couple of people voiced it, concern particularly about doing this uh, strip subdivision along Route 160. I wish I'd had the benefit of the minutes uh, from the prior meeting so I could see if I was right in, in that. I did discuss it a couple of times with the chairman uh, and uh, he made some additional changes to my first draft. Um, they basically, what I'm saying here is, I'm sorry, I, I, the same one that I have now. No, it's the minutes that you said you didn't. I didn't have them until now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't think you had. No, I <laughs> wish I had had them earlier because it would have been. <coughs> anyway, uh, so uh, the conditions which are proposed here, uh, the general concern is we've got basically a strip development here. You have a lot of issues with driveways uh, that are access onto the safety of access onto North Street. Uh, and this whole larger uh, remainder parcel, uh, which someday will probably be developed and what not to be, maybe up to the planning board, uh, you know, maybe it would not be cut off from access via North Street and sent to access 160 from uh, another street, which is apparently uh, from a discussion that took place in the last meeting, not up to standards. Uh, and so there's going to have to be more road development down the road, down later on, excuse me. Uh, so anyway, uh, the first paragraph, number one, is traffic. I think there was a sense on the part of the planning board uh, that the developer needs to limit access or access points onto Route 160. Uh, and uh, I think we're looking at the issue of shared driveways or hopefully um, one driveway uh, in a common development, uh, which may be thought to the uh, development of the remainder parcel at the same time, but certainly a reduction of the number of access points was indicated. Um, the buffer, uh, I think there was uh, a consensus on the part of the board if they want to see a restoration of the trees in the buffered area, uh, along with the conditions involving maintenance that uh, buffer strip. Uh, there is a requirement in the ordinance of 10% of the area of the subdivision tract, including uh, the remainder parcel. And for this purpose, it, it may be necessary for the board to decide whether or not, I, I understand there was a parcel cut out a while ago, it may be uh, uh, the statute allows consideration of development that took place on the same tract. I'm not sure of when that parcel was eliminated. There's a house on it now. Uh, it's allowed to be considered by the board, the fact that it's part of the tract uh, within a five-year period. <coughs> so uh, there's a restoration of the buffer. Uh, there's a 10% uh, delineated. 
suggested here is a concept plan be submitted for approval uh, of the rest of it if development will take place. It's not going to be binding. I'm not suggesting that be binding on the developer, but uh, it just so the board is comfortable with carving off this uh, portion of property uh, and subdividing it without regard to the remainder of the parcel. Uh, and uh, the fourth condition is uh, that the planning board had several concerns about the, uh, what was the wastewater, uh, not wastewater, uh, was the stormwater runoff issue. Uh, there may be other concerns as well, uh, but the planning board does have the ability to hire an independent consultant of the final plan or uh, do that connection with the final plan when they come back with the final plan and charge that to the developer and the legal witness. So that's just a uh, reminder that provision is there and uh, that you may want to use it at least for some of the more technical aspects of the proposed uh, subdivision. So, uh, that said, again, I wish I had had the minutes. I see right here a couple of things. Uh, no further forestry plan for the remainder. Uh, I, I guess we're talking about a no cut. I'm right? talking there about it. somebody on board who's talking about no cut provision for the remainder parcel. Um, I, that's not in here because I didn't read all that. But anyway, if anybody has any questions about the draft, um, I can try to answer them. Yeah. So, uh, so one of the things that doesn't appear here, though, it's somewhat implied in number three, uh, a number of people, both in the public and on the board, uh, stipulated a conservation, conservation easement on a 35-acre parcel um, that could be construed Follow the number three, but I'd like to see a few more explicit. Well, well, you can certainly require a conservation easement over part of it, which is never to be developed. Um, and uh, it, but it, you can do it in two ways. You can require a deed, a uh, conservation easement running to uh, a plantation, is that what you call that runs the plantation. Uh, it can be in a third party, so I'm saying that's a conservation easement. Uh, or you can uh, just make it a restriction in the subdivision plan because it's a restriction on the remainder of it. You don't necessarily have to take a legal easement to such. Well, I'm using that word because that's what I know. Well, I, there, there are two ways to accomplish that. <coughs> One is to involve a third party, a nonprofit. out of the hands of future planning boards to change it. Uh, if you do that, or to change it without the agreement of all of the easements as well. Uh, a negative easement is a It's an old time legal device as opposed to a restriction, which is just in the uh, plan itself and can be changed in the future by a planning board alone. That's the difference between two mechanisms. And uh, I guess the board has to decide which way we want to go. Uh, as to the 10%. I have a still have a few reservations about eight houses. Yes. I still have reservations putting eight structures in that short span, knowing the site distances, even even with just the <coughs> driveway, that's a lot of buildings to pop right right next to each other, a strip, a strip like that. And uh, I, I, that's a real strong reservation I have. I would be a lot more comfortable with reducing that number by several. 
<laughs> and then to see what uh, Watson Woods group here is willing to do. There's a lot here that has to be done. And uh, if at, at this point, this would be our, probably our ba base with obviously maybe an easement for the remainder of the land and possibly um, reducing the number of houses. And if, if this is going to be negotiated, this right there? Yeah, from they what you put out so far by they, what well, what you hold that. Well, they can speak to this and you can decide whether you want to adopt this in this form or you want to change it. Right. But um, this is preliminary subdivision approval. Uh, this is a it's yellow light for them to go ahead and if they want to spend the time and money trying to go through final safe plans, uh, knowing that the final subdivision knowing that you have these concerns and they don't address them, you may well deny it. And uh, that's why I, as I said in the beginning, that's why I uh, added these paragraphs in the beginning which uh, put them on notice that uh, the board has some basic concerns about the nature of this development. And this is, you can debate whether this is good planning or not uh, to do this do it this way in the sliver development, the sliver subdivision. So it almost feels like we have to, in essence, pass this just to even get to the meat of the project. I mean, that's what it feels like. We have, we have to say, all right, the preliminary part is done. Now we can get and start to tune it and fine tune it and change it. No, I think we can answer the question of the developer here. Yeah, and the developer, the developer has to come back and propose an actual plan now, a right. detailed plan, okay. uh, and that's a question about the I have one more thing to ask about. 11.6 in the subdivision regulation about private septic systems. <coughs> and it says something about um, with a limiting factor that has been identified as being within 24 inches of the surface, a second site, a suitable site has to be shown and it has to have a reserve area that it can't be built on. Uh, around page 34, my book is not the same as this. Eleven six B two. B two B. Maybe the applicant could pull out some maps for us. Hmm? To, that's what you're talking about. Somebody's, I don't know. I'm just trying to figure this out. Right. If they have maps to show us where it's located on, on well, site. They submitted soil studies. Yep. Which um, presumably surface then they have to have a reserve area shown on the plan and they ha and it can't be built on and so we have to the only, all the ground we only, we only have <coughs> the original 
set of stuff is in this big bound that JP had. Right. Anyway. Are you about? Maybe the applicant could show us where they have this on their map. Well, that's but supposed maybe to Maybe they can't. It's supposed to meet the bird on the Strong water management report. Not us. No. 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 I just want to be told that there isn't a um, limiting factor. If I can tell you, there are two test bits shown on every one of the lines that show that we have areas for the show that exist on every one of the lines. I can't hear him. On each slide, there are two test bits shown that are passing test bits on each slide to show that we have two play locations of each of test bits. The final plan, when we, when we pick a, a finally find get a driveway location and a house location, that we can put the septic system that we We've shown one on the plans already. We'll show it in survey or next one. That's that's uh, I need to work out with driveway issues to make sure that we don't put the driveway or the Has there been any discussion amongst Yes. Without about driveways. Can you share any of that about the driveways? We're we're going to combine another set of driveways so that we reduce the number of driveways that are there. Just one set of driveways? We, we have talked to MDOT and um, we are going to wait until the snow banks recede in order to get MDOT to to um, confirm our driveway locations and show that we have four hundred and fifty feet for each one. Okay, of them. meeting our You meeting your standards, that's correct. And um, then no, and you think you can do that by only making one shared driveway? Actually, we have three shared driveways on your sketch. Uh, three would make more sense. The sketch. Yeah. We, we can do that. We're, we're, we're in that process. We've also hired an landscape architect. Yeah, because we need to know, yeah. you know, what you're thinking of what, what? we've said. Right. With the, the conditions that you submit a plan for preliminary approval are right. with us, and we plan on addressing it didn't want to give you another whole round of set of papers to look at tonight, tonight okay. to make sure that, that we got past this stage. We okay. hired a landscape architect to look at the buffer and located the areas that... that uh, I, I believe we, we, we will be having to hire that consultant. The planning board expects to hire an independent consultant. Well, the way it was left with JP was we were to provide a plan and if the planning board wished to have it reviewed by a consultant, then it was free to do so. But the issue that we have it has a lot to do with ethics here. There was a lot of concern around this table of who we're dealing with, and not, not particularly you people, but we we have a lack of trust in, in, the, in the, no, it would the developer. Been, it would have been better from day one, and it, it's probably just as much our fault for not suggesting it, but it should have been the tech, technical peer review the board hired someone and we fully support that that that's the final that we get from preliminary at the final plan phase. Uh, what Thomas mentioned about the landscape architect is we need to present you a plan. You should right. hire someone to say what we should do. We'll tell you what we want to do. Then you hire a peer yeah. reviewer to see if that makes sense. So we'll and that will be hired by landscape the architect and, and everything else. So. We'll hire them and you and Mr. Watsworth will pay them. We understand that. That's the way it works in those yep. towns. So, so from our point of view, the conditions that you have in front of you are fine with us, and we'll address those as part of the final, okay. final piece of the of the of the puzzle. Here's the map showing the test Yeah, I've got that. So, does anybody here the ones that were never flagged? It's supposed to be a reserve area, not a pit hole. It was just one of the things that I kept hearing over and over again that no, and they and thought Tom's right. Um, until we do the final plan showing the driveway locations and the board does the site walk, which we now know can't happen for a while. Yeah. Um, and 
approves through your peer review approves and disapproves the driveway locations they may shift once we know the driveway locations then we can show the reserve area because you're correct the reserve area cannot be built on okay so, so you want to take one piece of the time sorry we're going to present a plan that will show what we believe is the appropriate location for the driveways right. it will show reserve area on that plan but as you go through if you say to us you've got a move the driveway somehow that will place a ship so, but so no, if we submit final it's going to be a complete set of everything that is supposed to be there so, so my, my question about driveways are we talking about you having a an access road for all these homes with one driveway or maybe three driveways to 160 what are you talking about I don't think we ever talked about one access road, but we haven't discussed that. You have. We, we have turned it Right. I mean, in, in our uh, right now, I think we're, the latest sketch was probably five. Yeah, that that would be acceptable. But we haven't again. Well, as mentioned, sorry, yeah, uh, uh, come back here, Article 11, which uh, she was talking about, performance standards, well, that's at the end. I mean, there's no point in you know, coming up with all, meeting all of these requirements or documenting that all these requirements until they don't have a plan. Because if they move stuff around, it's going to change. So there's no reason to present that. I've got a question here, Mr. Lord. This is sort of a, as you said, a concept this, that you put together for us. So, what I would like to know, going through the concept, what, I mean, a lot of us put our thoughts together, I mean, this is how, what we pretty much, where we're going with this. What I want to know is, having the concept now in front of you, You're going to be in total disagreement with most of this concept. I don't. I mean, they said that they. They, they said, said that they were. They said okay. that they were okay with all of it. Well, so, well, so I think what we need to figure out is if this is what we want to submit to them as a request. I mean, that's what's in front of us right now. Is, is are these are these the the the, 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 the considerations the con the conditions the that we conditions want? Conditions that we will give. Preliminary approval. We, we One want, discrepancy I'd like to point out is uh, I have to check the minutes. I think it was JP mentioned 10 year moratorium <coughs> in the uh, conditions here. It says five year moratorium. Right. Well, we're, we're talking apples and oranges because we're also talking about possible conservation easement for the rest of that property, correct? Which would, you know, um, remove the need to have a five or 10 year. We've got to decide which we want. Yeah. And I think we should make that now so they, when they leave here, when they leave with, this is what we expect to a lot more. I'm sorry, so you're talking about... You want to hear that? Yeah, I'm talking about... I, I was just pointing out the, the discrepancy between the minutes, and you, you said you didn't have the benefit of the minutes, but <coughs> the conditions. Uh, the conditions, you mentioned a five-year moratorium on development of the existing of the remaining parcel. <coughs> um, which is pretty much standard operating procedure for the planning board, I believe. But I think in the minutes, it references a 10-year moratorium. Again, it's probably a good point because we're moving past it, but it was just a discrepancy. I'm sorry. I, they're my draft minutes, but I can't figure out um, where you're talking yeah, about. I don't even know if we need to spend any time on that. JP did mention the possibility of 10 years, but you and he back and forth that's where five years ago. Yeah, it, it wasn't you that said ten, it's under Mr. Espinosa in the minutes that said ten. But again, I don't know if you really need to do this for it.
Okay, we're talking about the, the end of paragraph three. Space. And we want to change that to ten. And, uh, that's just what's in the minutes here. The last page of the minutes, number four, under Mr. Espinosa, preserving 10% of the remaining parcel for recreation while postponing any future development for at least 10 years and having an impact study completed for the plantation. Yeah, so that's the thing that's going to the impact study on the plantation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that should be. Yeah, number six under the consultants. Thank you. There's up to 23 months for that. Thank you. It's only four parts of our ordinance. I want to read it sometime. Actually, yes, we go through these one by one. Yeah. And I think we should them out. Yeah, fine. Okay, it does. Yeah. So, traffic. <coughs> So traffic uh, basically is the limiting as many drivers as possible onto Route 60, uh, meaning the town's ordinance of 450 site distance. Okay. We measured twice. It hasn't met. Oh, we uh, we say uh, as few as possible. I mean, what's I mean, we ought to be a little more. Uh, Yes, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Well, it needs what to be we, on Hussey Road, so. What do we, uh, no more. what do we want? What are we looking for? No more than four, because we're all looking for. What about on uh, multiple roads? That's just me. Okay, but what about on Hussey Road? Uh, I guarantee you that that won't be done, because if we, we have to go, won't we have to deal with the road? That that was part of the uh, what would happen earlier. Right. right, that's why we're where we are now. Uh, so well, point two a two. There's, we're not opening this up to, to public right now. I now understand. Let's work through this. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so uh, four driveway. I would say what the first thing is that the developer come up with a plan that minimizes the number of drivers and see what they get. All right, where, 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 how many do we have now? Eight. Eight. So, but I mean, if 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 a certain number is, is magic number, then I think we need, you know, I, yeah, I want to. Obviously, they have to talk to DOT as well, you know, and then you also have to have to meet DOT standards. I think we can come up with a magic number in the final plan, or if we come up okay. with a magic number now, all right, it's kind of all right. Yeah, well, I know, but I mean, for the for the car. well, but it sets a clear criteria. Yeah. I mean, if, yeah, I think if not a person at this table is going to yeah. approve it, if it has yeah. more than you know, four, then you know, right. why not put that out now? So that they can measure work site that. distance before yeah, they talk about yeah. driveways. I don't know. I, I have a problem with There's a little site distance. I think the driveway three or two. I, I, I don't, you know. Or do we, or not? I'm not wrong here. I mean, no, I think you're right. But I mean, it's kind of hard to say. Okay. There's no one space. It seems like it's possible to have a frontage road along the way. It's not just designed to have a frontage road along the whole front of it. And one driver, yeah, sure. But I don't know enough about the engineering considerations, right? You know, so I'll give them a little slack. But we're looking for a substantial reduction. Yeah. Substantial, yeah. Substantial, not one less, but substantial. Right. 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 So change reduction right. to substantial. <laughs> okay. And ultimately, I mean, we decide, I mean, we decide on to get the information. So, right? yeah. I'll, change, I'll change significantly to substantial. <laughs> as few as possible. <laughs> also, the last line here, location of the school bus stop on the phone you should also be identified. I obviously, I have a problem correlating with that one. More with the driver design. Can't hear you guys. Excuse me. Sorry. The, the bus stops will end up being when they have children that will be at the end of the driveway where the child gets them. Right? Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Well, out here, they stop at every house. So, other than the state putting up a sign that says 
that when you're coming down the hill, that there are um, the school bus, school bus stops ahead. All right, so then there's no other addition. Uh, restoration of buffer. Uh, well, clear cut. Restoration of subdivision requires to the buffer. Uh, so we have a plan. To see what the restoration plan is from the licensor, the actual landscaper. Landscape design. Uh, they actually get that's in the you can that's another one where the appropriate thing is not your own landscaper. As far as the buffers go, it's not only wrong Route 160, we have buffers between the lots that have to be restored. Whatever right. buffers are required. Buffers yeah. between the lots. Yeah. All buffers. All, buffers. Yep. All required buffers. I mean, without well, buffers, it doesn't, it doesn't conform. So. Right. Is it there's yeah, also supposed to be a certain buffer size as well. So it says move something to do They're going to propose some kind of uh, landscape plan. Yep. Anyway. <coughs> so I say the restoration of buffer is buffered. Yeah. Well, they're going to have to create buffers between the lines. Yeah. Maybe you should add that. It should be for the lines. Create the stormwater buffers. management plan is based on the buffers. Create 50 foot buffer side of the subdivision is to screen the subdivision from, from view from existing roads. From so, the road and yeah, I'm not from, sure each from, from, from each other. From each other. Yeah. Okay. Well, sometimes they, uh, sometimes what places do require that
might want to ask the developer, uh, developer's representatives, what there's an existing uh, area in between uh, it looks like it might be 30 or 40 feet. <laughs> Yeah, just to address that. Yeah. yeah. What, what you'll find between some of the lies is there is a no cut buffer between them already. <laughs> it seems big. That's funny. It's at 20 or 30. It looks like on the scale it's 50 feet. Yeah, it's what the setbacks are. This is 2,500 sets. So it looks like it might be close to So it combines more than there's a new one. It seems like it's not all of them. And not to see how the driveway, how the shared driveways are going to come in to make the obvious to the If you have a shared driveway, you can have a solid store bunker. Our landscape plan will show the zero treatment of water. Restoration of buffering doesn't need to screen houses from each other. I don't know that it's 50 feet wide. No, it's not, it's not very quiet in the building. No, I didn't say it was outside. Well, you can impose additional conditions, but they have to have some rational basis. I know, I I know. Rational basis? Where is it? It's nine homes from, from the street. But it is the is. <laughs> their stormwater management plan, the buffer. That doesn't exist. So, so, yeah, on the landscape plan, all planned buffers, especially the 50-foot buffer in the front. Uh, open space. So eliminate the 10% of the uh, area of the subdivision tract, putting in a parcel which will be served as open space and uh, provide for recreational needs for the occupants, the A house for three lots, uh, and maintain the single financial duty of the area. In addition, that's the final, uh, that's the final plan to be spent with the approval of the concept plan to use more than one over the parcel and the area shall remain open space. Shall not for the five without paying more than the four or period of five but we're saying ten years. Now listen, I guess I my question is what does unjustified plan to be some of the concept? So does that mean well, well, we would consider it? Well we'd be considering that as far as the so so the final plan would be coming to us now with the house of any development on this other Project. Well, is it good? <laughs> well, the way I wrote it, which maybe isn't the book that work was, it was <laughs> that uh, uh, unless the final plan includes a concept plan, then this whole area has to remain open space until something that can't be further divided and can't set off any additional lots on that area, even after five years, uh, you know, if you extend it up to ten years, uh, you're talking about a period of time beyond which uh, the, it's protected up to the subdivision wall. So they could carve off an additional lot down there. Uh, unless they give you a concept plan, they're not going to be able to do that for even ten years. The statute really only applies for five years. Tie it up for 10 years unless they present the concept plan. If you want the concept plan period, you can see that. Um, you can require that. It wouldn't be binding as such, but it's a concept plan. You have to present it just so you know what they're talking about. Well, if they do, then that means. I mean, that's how that affects 10 years. The five year and the 10 years. 
two different uh, <coughs> ten years. Um, and break it out. All right. Uh, thinking about it, uh, there are several ideas in this condition, and they can be certainly separated. One is you could require just the concept of that, or you could require that nothing happened there for 10 years, 10 years they decided in period, uh, or you could have what I've got here, which is that unless they give you the concept plan, they can't further divide the parcel or the major parcel for a 10 year period. So you have to decide if you want the concept plan period, one thing you can ask for, uh, and the second, because this is something you're going to, uh, you're only asking for a concept plan. If, if you do this, uh, well, it's not going to be binding on them in the future, they can come back later on, or you can say they can't further divide anything on the track for a period of uh, about 10 years now. Uh, two different things, they're hooked together here, but they don't need I think the other option was the conservation easement, but uh, I don't know if that's uh, something we would address right here and now. Certainly, you know, we can address it here or 6A, 6B, or whatever. Uh, but that's a separate issue from whether they can further create a new lot, another lot that's different from the conservation easement. I'm not sure I'm following you. If we put a and I'm not sure what instrument would be correct. Well, let's say a conservation is around 35 acres. Where would they be able to create another model? Well, From the existing open space on the right. Um, they're going to have to delineate. By ordinance, they're going to delineate 10 percent of the whole thing. Okay. Okay. Which is going to remain as open space. That's the first thing. That's an ordinance. Okay. By well, you set the amount. It can be as little as five or as much as ten percent. Uh, space. That's supposed to be for the benefit of the people who buy these lots. In addition, you could impose some kind of restrictions on the remainder parcel. It could be a restriction against further divisions of that for a period of time. Uh, on the theory that they should be coming and asking for them now if they, if they want them as part of this subdivision. Or you can deal with divisions and you can deal with uh, the concept plans separately and deal with conservation. Rises logically out of this restriction, but I think it will be obviously break them up to additional additional paragraphs. Good. You got your question answered. Sorry, Okay, I guess. So I understand. So what yeah. what is dealing with the ten percent? Yeah. Right. The other is they can come with a concept plan regarding the ten percent. No, there are 10% mandatory. It's already yeah. okay. for the right remaining. The concept, the concept plan for the remaining. Right. If they're going to ever develop the remaining acreage, what are they, what's the concept to go along with this, which is consistent with that? Well, it's not going to be binding in the future as such. Mm -hmm. uh, the, concept, the conservation easement would be binding. Require as a condition of development of uh, this strip along here to just never be developed in any else. Uh, it's an option where you could require to set up the uh, set aside for conservation beyond the 10%, perhaps. Perhaps I 
say perhaps because the ordinance does talk about 10%, but that's for the benefit of these lot owners. If there's some other reason for having a conservation easement on the rest of it, like in your yard or I don't know, I don't know what else is here, Green the impact, impact of the ordinance on So would it make more sense to really discuss the conservation easement after we see an impact study? Or discuss the I think so. Yes. Yes. So, so to the, the real details of that could probably be held off for the final plan as we see the study come in. Right? That would probably be the best way. I just, you know. I mean, what do you want to get into the details of it now? I just think it's a waste of time now. Well, I, I think it's a... Uh, statement of where we stand you know, I think it's important. Important. well that's I mean we can say we stand with a conservation what really where do we stand without knowing the information but, from the study but at least we'll, we'll give them information, information. Of where we right. stand so but, but we this, they pretty much know where we stand where we, you know, we, we want to see some type of easement or some protection from the development right of the to protect the green belt there's been some issues here about that so it, you know once we get the impact study we can make a better decision right I don't, I don't think the, the question of putting some kind of protection on the remaining parcel arose from any kind of environmental impact per se. Because the applicant has provided us with quite a bit of the required information regarding endangered species, wildlife habitat, etc. And uh, that parcel doesn't meet, as far as we can see at this point, that parcel doesn't meet any of those criteria for requiring the hunt species. Um, I can only speak for myself. I thought that the reason to put, and some of the public mentioned it as well, the reason for an easement on the main parcel is that the level of difficulty that we've had with this development and the low level of credibility and the number of uh, contradictions and changes uh, makes me suspicious of what's going to happen down the road. And I want to be proactive and not have to be sitting here Again, put the same time situation on the main portion. Yep. Yes. Well, so there's the 10% conservation, but again, on top of that is the 10 year. I mean, if they well, the 10% is going back. Yeah. We're talking about right now the letting and the right. developers know that we are looking at the remainder of the property in terms of conservation. The 10% is for the homes that are there, but we need to have a reason for applying. Well, that, well he, he just yeah, gave that to you. That's my reason. That's, that's, my right. that's, that's, right. that's, that's pretty much the same. No, I'm not going to say because it's, you know, I don't, I don't have any information that suggests that that is, you know, um, a critical conservation area or anything. Well, you said it's a little bit hilly, you know. There's been lots of questions from the public about developing the wall. There are questions about the soil survey, mm -hmm. the road, about the road. Uh, if that area is developed, the main point of access is probably going to be Hussey Road, which we sort of went round and round. So I'm just trying to look at, and you know, I'm saying conservation easement, and as I'm saying it, I'm realizing it's like a little bit much, and maybe that's not exactly. I want to see what they, you know, what kind of suggestion they can come with. It's compromised so they can get their value from the land and still, you know, address these concerns that we have. And Perhaps to, address, perhaps to address your concern, you put a restriction on here. There's going to be no further subdivision at all without coming back to the planning board. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Is that a restriction? Well, well, yeah. <laughs> you know, no, they can, they can still carve out lots later on in the major parcel. Five year increments. And five year increments. Ten years. Oh. That's that's not a line. That are active part of what you. What oh, you okay. Can change, you know. uh, but uh, so, 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 well, we could also 
in and some sections and each time another lot is developed that we a certain portion of acreage has to that's go. given that's given you know sort of permission of other to develop it to start where I thought we wanted to see. Right, but they can only develop one lot every ten years. That's what it is. Well actually what further divisions of the lot for 10 years without coming back, uh, not 10 years forever, as opposed to five years uh, to complete the statutory requirements for the subdivision. Avoid the statutory <laughs> application of the subdivision law. Uh, I think the clearer we can be about what our intention is, and less finessing to do the fairness to them. I said, yep, I know. So, okay. Well, I'd like to hear it. I, I, I have some concerns about making it for <coughs> and not providing. Uh, and we have had a trial here. Uh, I, you have your, uh, you have your, your feelings. I suggest that anybody that came in here and acted that way would be treated the same way. It's not based on personalities on that issue. I understand, right? But he hasn't had a trial. Okay. Uh, it hasn't been found guilty of anything as such. Well, we're not trying to convict him, but you can't punish him. They admitted it. They admitted it was fraud. They admitted it was fraud. They admitted it was All you can do is, uh, you know, if you have concerns about this particular developer, all you can do is build in safe works against um, something happening. Uh, I think that's really the trapping of safeguard for the uh, conservation of the property. Well, conservation the laws were already obtained. 30 acres. So, so is that something we're going to have to get meet of further on in the process there? It's, it's, I mean, we've got it. On the uh, conditions, I mean, we're going to talk about either a conservation easement or uh, a moratorium or something. But do we have to get it fully ironed out right here, right now? This is, this is you know, the preliminary plan. This is something we can iron out when we move through this. I mean, I don't know how much more time we want to spend on this. But I don't. I don't think that uh, if the purpose of imposing a conservation easement is to deal with concerns about what this developer has done in the past, I don't think that's appropriate for the board to have. No, I think you have to, you have to give some, I mean, you, can, uh, you can talk about what uh, you have to do to satisfy a future board uh, as to what's going on in the future. It's not a conservation research. It's necessary for audiences as do this approximately to the Yes, correct. It's necessary so that, That's what we need to have in there. Exactly. Yeah, that would, that would make Thank you. Exactly it's a green belt. It's very close. So, so we're going to tie it to the impact study on the plantation. Uh, and I see if in our Great Brook. Great Brook. I say 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Wait for the impact study in Great Brook. So, yeah, out. The impact of this proposal added as a normal plantation as the conservation. Okay, I thought they would be just down here. Yeah. So, but the Okay. So there'll be possible restrictions on 
effects that it has. Possible restrictions on um, the um, development of the remainder parcel. application and, or this preliminary application does the board have to issue issue waivers for all the requirements not met when you approve this what requirements are you specifically talking about i don't know if you want me to uh, <laughs> <laughs> all the requirements they haven't met i mean if it, you're if kicking the can down the road well, let's the just say met. there are a lot of requirements that, that are being lot. addressed are will the board have to issue waivers for these for example, what Ms. Wright brought up. Yeah, but, yeah, but we already kind of decided just, that that is a fact. At this point, we, we don't have to drive like that. I was reminded that we, it's not something you do till the uh, final it's plan. Right. It's beyond. It's under design. Um, okay, let's let's skip that one. The other thing's not met. Will they have to be waivers issued? Say no, or is it the conditions saying they have to be the site distance, in that or the spaghetti lot that's not being addressed? That kind of thing. Um, the site distance can be waived because that's the main point. But the site distance is covered in the conditions. Yeah. And also, if it doesn't stay there, it's certainly in the subdivision rights that we have to be to yeah. between in there and in the ordinance. No. And if, and, and if it comes back with spaghetti lots, then we will have to I mean, we know the lot we're talking about, and it's not a, what yeah. we can explain in our presentation why it's not as good as Be careful about the wavering because the state has already granted a waiver for a driver. There was no special waivers. condition or waiver. There were special condition waivers. There were special conditions. There were no waivers. Not for a the state. No, I think we have an answer to the question. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
A lot of these issues have been addressed. I don't know what's on your list, but a lot of them have been addressed repeatedly. And at this point, it seems like we've accepted the applicant's provision, the stormwater plan, and all the other things. The soil survey, all the other things that were in question at this point, it looks like we've accepted them. So I don't think we have to provide any waivers. That's my understanding. Of anyone want to well, you can Hiring technically say that, yes, that. yes, we have to put in waivers yeah, I can't, I don't if, yeah. if we have to waive them. But Some things are just up for our discretion. concept right. preliminary plan yeah. is all right. Too. Some things are within your discretion. Yeah. If, if, there's, if there's an ordinance standard <clears throat> which does not meet your judgment, for example, uh, their plan does not meet. It's been waived a waiver, but you can't just waive things arbitrarily. You have to have some rationale right. for why you're waiving it. Uh, the difference between substantive waivers, too, and uh, as opposed to uh, production waivers, you know, you say something isn't necessary for them to do. You haven't done any of that. I mean, they, they appear to have uh, produced everything so I will take your, uh, my notes on this and send you, circulate again. Uh, I guess I'll circulate it through JP. No, I, I probably should have a backup plan since uh, I wasn't able to contact him to tell him I would be very late to this meeting. I should have a backup person that I can contact. Secretary, Secretary. Hey, Lindsay, if you want to mind, uh, yeah. okay. right. well, we'll provide you with uh, the, the email address for that. That'd be good. Uh, um, so I'm, where are we at? I'm going to send you a draft, yeah. a revised draft, and at some point we're going to have to be because we have to pass it as well. So I'm going to send you a rule to try to get the preliminary approval subject to the next meeting. Okay. 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 Shouldn't the board make a motion other than not to put whether or not to grant preliminary approval based on the conditions and then come back to finalize the we do have that timeline that the board has to make a decision. Okay, technically perhaps we should do that, do that way. Um, they really, put it, candidly, uh, the requirements, the time constraints of the board Yeah. 
applicant agreed to an extension in order for us to have final as the only conditions of travel. Please get a consensus, a non binding, non discussion, and I mean, does the majority of the board accept this? I think you, you, you've seen it. You've got, you've got a direction. We made uh, you've got an understanding. We made the request. I, I guess. I just have <clears throat> some different opinions throughout. They can't vote now, though. They can if they want to. Um, but yeah, I'll extend the Thank you. Right, you do have on the line. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. what we've added. I mean, that's, that's, that's it. Basically that's what we're going to vote. Yeah. We just want to make sure it's a writing plus. Is this a verbal agreement or is this a verbal approval? No. Okay. No, no this just is checking this is it seems like you guys are making it. Yeah. No, 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 just making sure that they know what they have to do. Making a deal for an extension of time. Uh, yeah. uh, we have one. Oh, yeah, that's right. On the agenda. Zoning ordinance input the changes, determine the date for a workshop, and uh, then we'll set up a public and a central town vote. Uh, I'm not sure what the current uh, draft for zoning ordinance is. I don't know. Maybe you guys might know more about it than us. Um, I don't know. JP's actually got one. I know. This is the first time hearing about that. JP's so. not here, so he's the one. Is he ever? We should yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Have a card or like so, give so me your email. Oh, we need to set up a workshop. Okay, so can yeah. we double it up and do yeah, a workshop to address this yeah. also at the same time? Or is that? No, oh, that's too much. Man. It's gonna be a long night. Is it really gonna be that long? These guys, <laughs> these guys soak up time. Well, how long are we gonna? How long are we gonna stay on the non-conforming house? I mean, how long do you think we'll workshop that? Really? Well, it's a short list. Yeah, yeah. We don't know anything about short So should we set up a separate workshop the following week? We can't put them off and say you got to wait till the following month for another workshop. Workshop as soon as possible. When we got our approval with conditions, we were promised that you guys were going to be scheduling a workshop within a month. So. I would like that we would get some sort of priority here considering it's now been past that. We haven't even heard any word in other business until this. Um, we still have a warrant article out there getting signatures, but it really is just not, it's just a bad look to have to use warrant articles to get to have compliance with the state. Printed name, written name, yeah. and the town. Not to be rude, but it's like this. It's like order? position planning. Because you know you're going to get shelved. You know, 
new state laws, that's really not, it, it shouldn't even be on us to go out and have to do it, is what I'm getting at. <coughs> it shouldn't, it's not about how hard it or unhard it is, but when I'm working all day and we're all, we're both working all day in our businesses, I don't have time to spend what is always a long conversation with me, an hour in each house, you know, can adds up. Through 20 signatures, you're talking just like, you know, 20 hours of work and you have to be here with people around. It's becoming a more of a burden on us to do it. And we were pretty forceful about it because we felt like the ordinance was not going to get done and then we were super assured by former colleagues of mine and people that I'm sure can do this that we've been moving forward on it. And it's, I know it seems funny, but it's, it's, it's really not funny to me that nobody knows the situation with the ordinances. As it feels, honestly, it feels a little disrespectful. Well, that wasn't what I was our, in our thing, you know. Well, there's no disrespect intended. No. Uh, I can't I speak for myself. I wasn't here for that meeting, so I don't know what was promised or not. So, you know, I'm working and walking into this sure. uh, yeah. without mm -hmm. JP, who is who was the chair and is unfortunately not here today. Let, let's the chair. update. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. I, I, and I do think not bringing back in. Well, I don't know. Uh, that you're right. That, I don't know. That, you know, back too many issues, things. important issues. We might as well have to sign a board, right? Yeah, it takes some time. Yeah, do we have to. Do we have to notice. Can we do, we can we do it March 12th? Sure. I mean, it's you guys' workshop. It's not. It doesn't totally involve us. Well, yeah. Still, I mean, we're just here to make sure. It doesn't involve but I'm trying to. You know, I'm trying you to. You don't want yeah. to be there, right? Yeah. That. I mean, March 12th works. Yeah, I don't want to schedule it on a day where you're working yeah. and you're not going to be able to get. Like and, 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 and then next thing, next thing I know, every we're day. Really I don't think I'm be here. We do have a training day coming up. That's it's not twenty. Okay. It's All right. Well, I mean, it's something that can be handled in other business. You guys might learn the ordinances. Wow. Uh, I'm just saying it's something that can be handled in, uh, in other business, even just a little bit of work, even no time like present. To just talk about them. Let, well, especially the most pressing one, which of course, you know, there's an application that's pending on a you know a retail storefront, and it's just it's just a bad look for everyone if we're the ones trying to open one and the ones putting forth the, the law to. Want the same, it. I, I thought yeah. at the same time the law did recently change, which was not you know was a state thing sure. but on us, so. You know, yeah, we kind of got caught with our pants. It was on politics. Right. So it was like, like, the it was was a problem. Not the Gerard, we're working through this. I'm just saying, we it get, wasn't no, the no. planning board. Gerard, it was every politics every and board. meeting, you know, every meeting, we're working through this. I don't need the peanut gallery over here. Well, Please. just to let you know, it wasn't a planning board problem. It was a select board problem. I'm not the select board. I'm just saying. Okay, that's great. We are working through this now. So Can we, you let us handle our business? I'm just pointing out. I'm going to need you to point it out. Thank you very much, Gerard. The select board were getting in the way of this application. That's what I'm saying. We've got a workshop scheduled. Anything else? So we're going to do March 12th at 7 p.m. The workshop is. And we'll make sure everyone's there. And what are we looking to do? Just come up with the language to pass out to the town. Is there the language to vote on? Is that what we're doing? We need ordinances. We'll need ordinances to so address all the new changes in state law, like what, 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 what yeah. land use, where that stuff can be done. Buffers. <coughs> yeah, but I, I think we've got a, a loose knit kind of thing that we work on. I mean, I think the biggest thing though is where, where the is biggest that? thing to vote to is so right change too is, yeah. is that the, or, the municipality is an opt in now. Yeah. Am I correct in saying that? Yeah. This so what we so do that, that, that needs to be basically. We need to get the town to vote on it. Is what yeah. we need to do so they can actually start. Right. So know. we need the ordinances built out, but the biggest thing is we need that it needs to be presented to the town. Are we going to opt in or not? Right. Well, that, that's correct. that's the change in the law. <coughs> but I would say the biggest change in what is going to independently affect. from that. So when a warrant article would be pushed through. Uh, essentially like a narrow, like a referendum ordinance, right? Um, that's the only thing that would probably be different mechanism-wise than that. But yeah, you're right. So can we set, I mean, we, we want to think about setting a date for a public hearing too? Just get calendaring it? I mean, I, I think we should do the workshop. Yeah. Force the issue. 
<laughs> Make sure we get it hammered out at that, uh, I mean, I don't know, yeah. you know, and then it's already are, uh, set, man, we just bang, bang, bang. I mean, I support that, but I can understand why. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I can understand why. Hey, excuse me, don't you have a warrant, don't you have a, like, yeah. what's going on with that? Signatures. How many do you don't have yet? How many only address do you How many retail, do you have to get? retail shops. You too? How many yeah. you got? So, so if you say, or sorry, so uh, clarify for me. If you said it only affects retail shops, right? What, what is that? It's only that so it's essentially just saying that we need a ruling on retail shops where they can be, where they can operate in right. the municipality. And it doesn't oh, address the rest of the ordinance. Right. The reason that we do that is so that we don't have to wait it. on like all of the Already other written out as an ordinance. Stuff. And it's just yeah. an ordinance to adopt you know, uh, caregiver retail storefronts with a thousand foot, they, they, the state requires 500 minimum okay. increase to a thousand foot distance between, you know, daycare, school, blah, 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 blah things, all the conflicting businesses. Uh, so that's that was he brought that okay. to that meeting. So that it, it, it's, it's a basically it's a just a, yeah I mean it's a straight line, real straightforward ordinance. So we just need to, and I think you know we just need to come up with language that to, to address all the other the other aspects of the law, so that we can uh, right. so put it before the voters. So but like yeah, like meaning like cultivation. All yeah. Right. So like what we're doing would to help there. It doesn't help with any of that guidance. So no, but it's it's. Here. One of the things, it's one, it's, it's one of the ordinances yeah. checked. Okay, sure. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's got to be done. And I mean, that's what just language. I know it, that's why. There's stuff that's been hashed out, right? It's been collected out. It's pretty, yeah. kind of like, I think JP's got a, a framework. Plug and play language. It was pretty, it was pretty sketchy. It's got a framework. Well, I don't know, but we can start with something. Yeah, we can right? start with it. Yeah, sure. Add to it. Will Staff, you had your hand up. I just wonder what kind of timeline we're looking at for ordinance. I, I don't think it's going to be too. I I don't know. I've never been through the process. I can't personally say. Uh, we, if, I if we can if we can get them hammered out at, at, at the workshop, then we have we whatever timeline it is to put it before a public hearing, right, so the and then timeline hearing, for a vote. Yeah. You're it's looking at yeah. you're looking at like a couple of months maybe. Yeah. 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 Six weeks. If the town yeah. wants to pay for a special. Still not as bad as the state of Maine. They've been kicking the shit down the road forever. So as long, I mean, it's not good, but it's it, it seems to be par for the course. So we're trying to get right. through it. I think as far as timeline, yeah, I'm 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 with. It. Next time we have a meeting, we hammer it out and then we'll get it out. Yeah, not even like not even. Like we're we're gonna gonna on the, the workshop, we'll hammer it out. Yeah, and, and then, then we're ready to roll. And right. Like we don't need the workshop until it's done. That's yeah. correct. I'm down. Well, the right. twelfth. So that would work out pretty well. It's the twelfth, and then the meeting to. You know, so I mean, I, I don't want, I don't want to meet and then schedule. It makes sense because I don't. Are you able to schedule it. during the workshop? I do not believe so. Right. So then it works out pretty good to try to get it all hammered out on the twelfth and then on the schedule at the next meeting. Yeah. And then yeah, that time and should be. You know, again, I don't want to. I don't want to shotgun it, but uh, I think if we at least have it in the workshop yeah, when we leave that you workshop, you know, be open for more. Or if we have post input or whatever, then I would, I could spend some time, you know doing some more work and looking at other towns like we've looked at a couple of different towns and things like that um, but I don't want to do a ton of it and then have it get out of hand and then just being a waste of so bring what you got I got you know whatever you have bring it okay. I mean bring it I mean yeah. I mean, we, got our goal is to get, we, we, got, we want to get I mean I, I, if we have it we can there's no reason why we couldn't hammer it out in, in one workshop because we would both love to see a full ordinance but we you know we speed understand that we might have to take a, a narrow approach with the warrant article in the beginning, but it doesn't mean we don't want to be there. Point, we don't want to not be part of the productive conversation sure. about how to build the full work. Um, so I think I think that's it. So, the so uh, no, is it the 12th or the 19th? Sorry. 12th is our workshop, 19th is our new office. Yeah. Right. Well, okay. And what was the workshop for the other couple? The well, so in, 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 we should put on the agenda for that meeting, like as a backup piece that we can, that we can you know, continue work on any ordinances, like at the end. Like, so if we don't get it done on the 12th, that on the 19th it becomes. Like, let's just put that as a as a last agenda item, so that we only that you know. We're going to meet on the 5th and we get that quick. You know, start working on. 
You know what I'm saying, you guys? You can't. That's the thing. Unless you say that you're going to do both that day. Do you want us to say don't. that? If we, we get done early on the fifth, we can start working on it. So if we can say that, if we just say that right now and say if we get done early up on the fifth, we'll start working on the ordinances for them. Uh, yeah, I mean, then you I need don't want to waste their time though if we don't get to it. Right. That's my right. thing. So we'll, we'll whatever we'll focus. On I mean, I know you, I know you guys are just like hanging around. Like, I, I, I think I think I think we I should put it. I on. appreciate it, but if there's a possibility that it'll be there, we'll be there. Yeah. I think we should put it on the agenda as a secondary act because yeah, we should get it done. Get it done. How long the workshop? I don't see a workshop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Until we, we stay till we get it done. We stay until we get it done. We're we're the first years, years worth the marijuana workshop meetings yeah. over nothing. It's it's mad. You bring the pizza, Trevor. <laughs> you bring the pizza. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not I one citizen. So, yeah. Yeah. You guys, do you have any other questions about the agenda? Do you? Do you have one? All right, Mr. Ryan. There's something screwed up. Big Mr. Ryan. I just want to compare. It's an older Ryan. Smaller, but I mean, the 12th is the official date, but we're going to put it on the agenda for the 5th. I don't know how long that that whole thing. All right, thank you. Thanks. How are you doing? Is there any other? Yeah, no, I would have other than people. Look, we have to address this. Oh, yeah, we're going to All these books are wrong. They're all wrong. So as I'm trying to look for. Listen, they're not wrong. It was not that I don't have the right page on there. Right. The information's right. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so I don't even know if that's right. We'll see. I think so. So right here, so while we're discussing that first one, I'm looking for page. I'll tell you tomorrow. Okay. Site plan is here. Yeah, well, we'll have we all site plan. Oh yeah, it's not going to be on here. Yes, it is. So, so what is all this? The table of contents and the table of contents is what's screwed up. Okay, so I don't know. So on the old one here, everything correlates. This is the new one. This was just put out. So what were you looking for? And I know it's not because when David handed these out, I said the pages are wrong. Okay. All right. So, so there the is. Numbers. Can we? Can can we? So, so someone they're they're online on the town's website. So let's first start there and look to see if those match this or not. What am I looking at? Uh, okay, so the new ones here, the table of contents doesn't correlate to the information in the book. So as we're doing the first plan there, I'm trying to look for site plan review. It says 81. So it's not in conversation here. came with the stuff up. Yeah, so so we need to get these redone here. Um, but you're saying all the information is in here. It's, it's just, just it's skewed wrong to the table of contents. The table of contents. You just need a new table of contents, is that right? Because we when they need, added the, same book the well. so new plan regulations, I they didn't factor in the new pages that went the in. The number so of pages that skewed everything. Okay. So again, that's why I'm right. saying let's look online and see if the table of contents. I have a that. feeling that you will find things in the front, but once you get to the subdivision, the surely. So, yeah, it, it's that somewhere it towards the center. Yes, yeah, so we look online and figure that then. out. All right. All right. That's why. So, so if, no, it's, just, if that's the case, like I think for we everyone's need, benefits, unless you've got highlighted and all that stuff, we should all get. New booklets. Right, I think so. Well, it's not the booklet. Well, well it's whatever. It's whatever. We need to have the same thing. The works. trouble I had trying to reference the right stuff during that that you know, contest. Oh, yeah. yeah. how yeah. about um? Just look up anything. Anything, and it just doesn't. Yeah, matter. I was trying to reference. It, yeah, it basically, it, it's just a matter of we got to get matches it. up. So I went online today to find out what we went through for Shoreland Zone. Right. And you're supposed to go on the Department of Environmental Protection to find out if your town is registered with the Public Control and Zoning Ordinance. And our town isn't. It is. It isn't. I thought we just went through it. It got no. resubmitted to the DEP. Yeah. They sent it back to get redone. Right, and right. It never got resent back to them. So, ah. so I called David to find out what one we're using because there's a couple of different ordinances to go by. Yeah. yeah. You're supposed to just fill in the blanks. Yeah. And and submit it if the DEP likes how you've changed things, right. they'll send it back. Well, well we for some reason, it never got sent to them. So it's, 
We have to send them it to them the radio integration. So I was actually able to download it on my computer. Huh. So now I've got all the shoreland ordinances spread on the computer. Okay. Um, so we'll but I did find it, and I, I did. I'll let JP know, and we, you know, but basically, uh, you know, not everyone has the subdivision. Yeah, I don't have the subdivision. Not everyone has the update. Mine's the two bag thing. I don't even have uh, So we just need to make sure that all the books are going to work. Maybe at the, uh, the, the, the workshop. So, with that said, is there any more business to be addressed? Yes. Move to adjourn. I second. Second. All in favor? All right. Unanimous. Thank you. Thank you.